Hello, my comrades. Shall I show you a little bit of freedom? But before I implement oil and gas, I have to upgrade my city builder from a test project to something more polished. To accomplish this, there are four things I have to do. First, I have to create a world so the people stop falling endlessly. Second, I have to make the world prettier by adding randomly generated forests. Third, I have to make a new UI so I can place roads and buildings and stuff. And finally, I have to fix all of my past mistakes. Okay, let's get started with the first point. Oh, wait, what a coincidence. Best Alex actually already created a world in the first devlog. So let's just take that and import it into the game. It's not perfect, but for now it's good enough. Well, that was faster than I expected. I guess I can go to the second point now. So first things first, if I want to build a forest, I need some trees. I mean, I could get my unbelievable, exceptional 3D modeling skills to some good use. But as a solo developer, you have to work smart, not hard. In which case, I'll just try to find something online. I found a very nice tree pack from this person. Oh, what nice tree pack. There are several ways I could place the trees. But I want to create an interesting pattern, not just some boring big bush. To do that, I'm going to use Perlin Noise. It's basically fancy math that gives you fancy patterns that I can use to create a forest. After some time playing around, I got some pretty foresty patterns and combining that with some foliage like bushes and tree stumps look quite good. So I think I can now check off the second point. Now it's finally time to throw away the old design and make a new pretty UI. Yay! Yay. I think the UI is one of the most important aspects of a game, but making all the icons myself seems like a lot of work. Do you remember what solo devs have to do? Work smart, not hard. hard. Yes, exactly. You know, Google has a big icon library online. Oh, a big icon library. I could take most icons as they were and I just needed to change some of them a little bit. Suddenly, a big problem occurred. I needed one icon, and it wasn't available anywhere for free. After hours of research, I came to the conclusion, fine, I'll do it myself. After working on the last icon for dozens of hours, the UI was finally complete. And now you can, well, uh, press some buttons, I guess. Yay! Yay. But... Can you spot which button is the imposter that I did myself? Write it in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell button, my subscribe to my audience, subscribe, my audience, subscribe, my subscribe to my audience, subscribe to my Twitch, and don't forget to wishlist my game on Steam. Basically, most icons are self explanatory. Road is road, house is house, and so on. We'll get more into death in the coming devlogs. Now, the only thing that is left is the ability to place buildings next to the road, which was pretty easy. Just place some markers next to the street, and if you click on them, well, a house shall be spawned. Finally, we come to the most important point of this devlog the tax button. This is the tax window, where you can increase and decrease the taxes as you wish. I split it up into low, middle and high income for residential and business areas. Do you want to create a dystopia with the poor finance the rich? You can do that. Do you want to play Robin Hood? You can do that. Do you want to create an anarchy? You can not do that. I'm definitely too lazy to program that, but remember that everything you do is at your own risk. Now comes the point you all waited for. Let's see what the risk is if I increase all the taxes to 100%. Hmm, nothing changed. Well, I guess you could say adding communism to my game worked better than expected. <laughs> yeah, no, this isn't a political statement. I just haven't implemented anything yet, so let's change that. The first thing that comes to my mind is burning trash cans. Smoke. Lots of smoke. 
and fireworks. Why fireworks? They are a surprise tool that might help us later, but the bigger problem is what kind of system would allow me to create such effects? Wait, what am I hearing in the distance? In this particle system? Well, that's where you're wrong, kiddo. How many particles can the Unity particle system display again? Only 1000. Pathetic. Have you heard of a new and improved visual effects graph? It's a great system that can display millions of particles at the same time using the futuristic technology of graphics cards. The future is now, old man. Using the visual effects graph and the tutorial of the one, my love, Brackies, I was able to create some nice smoke. And because he also had a tutorial about fireworks, I thought, why not? I mean, fireworks are never a bad idea, as long as they're not part of a gender reveal party. Now, let's see what the communistic manifesto has done to my game. Yeah, um, so I don't plan to cover the world in fire as soon as you raise the taxes. I'll try to implement a way where economical extremes are possible, but don't think I will go too easy on the people who are crazy enough to try to achieve this. Oh, yeah, I also created a small traffic system by the way, but you'll see that in the next devlog.